All right, so here is topic six from our chapter seven. Oh, ran out of space. Um, so adding or subtracting polynomials. You've probably seen some of this before. Basically, you need to find like terms. So like terms means they have the same variables and the same exponents on each of those variables. Uh, so here we have an a squared and an a squared, exactly the same. So there's one of those, and there or there's two of those, and that's one. So one way I like to do it is I identify the like terms. So there's an underline 2a squared plus a squared, that's 3a squared. Now there is a 4a, so it's an a to the 1th. Here's an a to the 1th. And actually I'll just circle that one. And I'll use different symbols to identify the like terms. So this is a positive 4a minus 2a. 4 minus 2 is a positive 2a. And then here is a negative 6. Here's a positive 4. Notice I'm including the sign in front of the number with that number. So like I include the negative with the 2 here and the negative with the 6 there. Negative 6 plus 4 is a minus 2. So that would be our final result. Another way you could do it is you could rewrite them in descending order and line up the common terms. Um, if you were missing one, let's say this was like an a 3a cubed and this had a 4a to the fourth, you would then just put a placeholder 0 and just add straight down if you were missing one of the terms. So here you add 1 and 2 is 3a squared. 4 and negative 2 is a 2a, and negative 2 and 4 is a negative 2. All right, so I'm going to try to go through this kind of quickly for those of you that get it. If you're having trouble, make sure you just go back and you know, pause it or rewind and watch it again. So here we have uh, x squared, x squared, and it has to be the same variable and same exponent. So that gives us 6x squared, 6x, and negative 3x gives us a 3x. And then a negative 9 and a positive 7 gives us a minus 2. We're just simplifying. We're not actually solving. So I don't want x equals anything. This is my final answer. So here I have a, I'm going to look at the highest degree term first. So that's a negative 7x squared. Remember, the negative goes with that 7. And a 2x squared. That gives us a negative 5x squared. Um, this one doesn't have a, an x term. So we just keep that 5x because there's nothing to combine it with. And then 2 plus negative 5 is a negative 3. So that would be your final answer. If you like the uh, line it up way, you could always do that too. So you can just rewrite it. I like to just identify them like I did. Rewrite it kind of seems like a lot of extra work there. But negative 7x squared plus 5x plus 2 and then this, you would line up the x squared. So make sure you line them up by degree. It'll be really important in Algebra 2 and Pre-Calc. And then um, add down. So we have like a little placeholder 0. Negative 7 plus 2 is negative 5 x squared. Uh, 5 plus 0 is 5 x. 2 minus 5 is minus 3, which is the same thing I got before. So here's a U try for you to give a try at. Now, you've got to be really careful when subtracting polynomials, okay? Because really, this minus means minus the whole thing. So what you actually got to do is apply this negative sign to everything in there. So this is an instance, if you're subtracting polynomials, definitely rewrite it. All right, so I would rewrite it as negative a squared minus a minus 2 is a positive 2a and then minus a 4, it would be minus 4. All right? And if you're going to uh, be trying to add these or whatever, why not just, when you rewrite them, rewrite them and line them up right under the other terms? So I would write them over there. And then you can line them up. 2 minus a squared. 2a squared minus a squared is 1a squared. 4 plus a 2 is a 6a. And negative 6 minus 4 is a negative 10. All right? And that's what we get here, too. But make sure that the positives become negative. And don't just do the front. A lot of people only apply it to the front and forget about the other ones. But you have to 
apply it to all of them. Okay. So here's a couple more examples. 10 minus 4a minus uh, 4a plus 5b. So I'm going to apply the negative. So I got a minus 4a and a minus 5b. And notice I'm lining up the a's and the b's. I'm lining up all the like terms. So that gives me a 6a uh, plus 3b. Here I would apply it to all of them. x squared, I'm going to write under the x squared. So that's a positive here. Negative makes that a negative x squared. This is negative. This minus makes that a positive. And that makes that a negative 7. So now we get 4x squared plus 9x minus 16. And we'll just see a few more here. Uh, so we have a y cubed. There's no y cubed over here. We have a y, and there's a y, and a 7. So just looking ahead here. So I'm going to rewrite this one all in descending order, uh, kind of like this example here, just because it's going to make it so much easier to keep track of stuff, and I won't make any silly little errors. So I'm going to rewrite this with a 5y squared uh, plus 8y minus 10. Now I'm going to apply this negative to everything in here and then rewrite those in the proper position. So minus that positive 7 gives me a negative 7. Minus the minus or minus the negative y cubed makes it a positive y cubed. And why am I writing it over here? I'm writing it over here because there's no other y cubed like term to line it up with. That minus the 12 gives me a minus 12y. Okay, so there's no, uh, I'll just use a little placeholder, plus 0 there. So there's nothing to line up with that squareds. So I have a positive y cubed plus 5y squared. 8 minus 12 is negative 4y. 7, negative 10 minus 7 is negative 17. And whew, here we go, one last one. This only gets applied to this set of parentheses, only one in which it's in front of. So I have 3n cubed plus, there's no n squared, uh, plus 3n minus 10. I'm going to rewrite that with the application of the negative. So that's a minus 4n squared um, plus 5n, because that has to change that sign there. Makes that a negative and that a positive. And then also there's a 4n cubed, a negative 3n squared, and a negative 9n, and a plus 4. So I'm combining all the like terms, and I'm going to add straight down. Uh, there we go. Oh, that's weird. So we get 7n cubed, a negative 7n squared, a minus 4n, and a plus 4. And that's the final result there. All right, so there you try. So if you have any questions, be sure to write them in the margin uh, so you'll remember to ask them in class, and I'll see you next class.